up everybody? Welcome back to Ascend Kids. Those of you joining us online, we're so glad you guys are here. Those of you guys right here in the Tire Center, it is so good to be hanging out with you guys on Sunday. Uh, if you were not here last week, we started a new series talking about the different decisions that we get to make, the different opportunities that come up, that all of us, we're gonna have uh, opportunities or, or, or things that'll come up, people will bring stuff to us, and we'll have to decide, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna do that? Do I not wanna do that? What do I think about these things? Do I think that's a good idea? Do I think that's a bad idea? How do I want to say this? You know, if I'm trying to talk my parents into getting me a switch, do I do I do I say it this way? Do I get it that way? And whatever it is, we're always making decisions. You're making decisions right now, and you're thinking about: Do I want to listen to this guy up on the screen, or do I want to, you know, uh, pick at the carpet? I don't know. You're 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 making decisions every second of your life, and and decisions is something that is so important. It's, it's something we'll be doing for our whole life, and so how we make decisions and what decisions we make is something that, that is, that's really, really important. It's something that God wants to help us with. It's something that God wants to be a part of. And so what I want to do before we get started with anything else, I thought it'd be kind of fun. We can do this in here. You can do this at home. Let's play a little game. Some of you guys may be about decision making. Some of you guys might know this. Some of you guys might have heard this before. This is a game that me and my friends, we love to just sit around trying to make up our own here. But we're going to play a little game called Would You Rather? Uh, I, I looked up a list of things. The way this game works is I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you guys a sentence like, would you rather you know have uh, three arms or would you rather have three legs? And then you try to think like, wow, which one do I really want? And that and you make a decision around it. And then you know if you guys are at home and you're around uh, around some people there, maybe you can uh, ask each other. You can come up with a few of these things here. If you're here in the tire center, you guys want to play this game, you guys can. But I looked up a list. I looked up a list of the best would you rather's. And I picked a few out here. And I think why don't we why don't we play this together and we can kind of see. Uh, kind of see how this goes. Let's, 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 let's play one together. First one I got here, first one says this. <clears throat> Would you rather have a bucket stuck on your head forever or have a cement block stuck on your foot. So what would that be like? If I had, if I had, if I got a cement bucket, or I know, I'm sorry, if I got a bucket here and it's stuck on my head and I'm walking around and I'm trying to figure out where to go and oh, okay. That's probably not, that's probably not what we want to do. Uh, so maybe it's, uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, that could have been really bad. Okay, okay, so that, that seems a little tough. That seems a little tough. That option one, option one is that. Now, now number two is if I've got a cement block. Uh, I might not ever get this off. It's stuck on my foot. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't even lift my foot. That's really, oh, that's really bad. Oh, oh, okay, that was painful and hard. Uh, and you know, I think honestly, you know, for me, as I think about it, I don't know what you guys would say, but I mean, there's just no way to live life if you can't see. I'd be running into everything, everywhere. So to me, if I had to pick one, I'm picking the cement block. Even though it's really heavy, at least you could see. But what would you guys think? Now let's, let's, let's try another one here. Let's try another one and see what you guys think about this. Uh, let's do this one. Ooh, all right. Would you rather, <laughs> would you rather drink sour milk or eat a rotten egg? Now, ooh, I know you guys have ever uh, opened up, uh, opened up a carton of milk that's sour. Woo! As you might know, you know, we haven't had church like normal for a long time. We got some old milk in there. I found some. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this goes. I'm not sure. All right. So. I'm gonna try a little bit of the sour milk. Oh. Okay. Okay, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Oh. But is it worse than a rotten egg? Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea, guys, but let's try it. This is a pretty rotten egg. It's been sitting in the fridge for I don't know how long. I heard one time you can get sick from eggs, but let's let's hope this doesn't happen. Are right, you ready? Oh. <coughs> oh. oh no, those are both bad. Oh, kind of like a few weeks ago. Maybe maybe don't try that at home. Ooh. That's pretty bad. Oh man. Oh. I mean. If I have to be honest with you, the egg actually didn't taste as bad as the milk. So if I had to, would you rather? Whew, oh, I, 
guess I would eat rotten eggs. Let's, let's maybe do one that's not that gross. Oh, not again. All right, let's see. Let's, let's keep going out of this. Okay, okay, this one seems maybe a little less, a little less risky here. Would you rather, would you rather moo like a cow after every sentence or bark like a dog after every sentence? So imagine, imagine you're sitting there, you're talking to your friends, you're like, hey, what are you guys doing tonight? Oh yeah, you guys are gonna hang out. Hey, we should all play video games. You're probably getting some weird looks if, I, if I'm honest with it. But okay, what are the, what are the other alternative? I'm saying like, oh, hey, you know, we should all, we should all go to the park and hang out. Uh, hey, you guys want to the sweet couch? My favorite spot. Bark, 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 bark. Which do you guys think would be a little bit more awkward? I mean, what, what would you be able to do? You think it's weird? I mean, what are your friends you're looking at you like, are you insane? To me, if I'm gonna be insane, I'd rather do it in the funniest way possible. And I think mooing would be hilarious. I think it would just be, it'd be, it'd be you know, you imagine raise your hand in class and, you know, what's the answer to that? Uh, I think it's, you know, 47. It'd be pretty funny. I don't know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay. Okay, let's try another one here. Let's try another one. This one says this. Would you rather lick the inside of a trash can or lick the bottom of your shoe? Huh. Well, this is a pretty dirty shoe. I'm gonna be honest. I have walked in all kinds of spaces. I don't know what's on here. I, uh, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's. Let's try the trash can. I don't know. Maybe that's better. Maybe that's. Maybe this is a better call. I don't know what's in here. It looks. Looks like there might be something gross. But let's try it. Let's. Help! Oh! Oh! Phew! Thank God. Uh, that would stop. Uh, I think honestly, safety-wise, you probably should just lick, lick the bottom of the tra or of your shoe, because oh, I didn't know I was gonna get out of there. Okay, one more, one more. Let's do one more, and then we'll, and then and then you guys can come over some for yourselves too if you want. How about this one? How about would you rather be always itching, always got that itch? You know, you know that itch that gets like right on the bottom of your foot, and you're like, how do I itch this? There's no way to do it. Or would you rather? always be coughing. Ooh, now I'll tell you what, there's never been a year where it's worse to have a cough. I mean, sometimes I feel like if I cough in public just because I have a tickle, it's like I'm gonna get arrested and quarantined. But let's think about that. Just take a second, take a second and just imagine every time we're hanging out, everything we're doing is just constantly itching. Every nook and cranny you've ever felt is itching. That spot on the, in your back that you, you can't, you can't get itch. Oh, now I'm actually really starting to itch. Ooh, oh, my face itches too. Okay, I don't know if I can itch like that. I mean, I, would, I would think I would go crazy just all those different places, but what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, if the other alternative, alternative is cough, coughing, coughing, cough, constantly, calling, <laughs> oh, guys, no, there's no way. There is no way. I mean, that's an easy decision. You, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, even though it would drive me nuts, you would have to pick itching all the time because if you're coughing like that, you wouldn't be able to talk to anybody. It would just be, it'd be too much. I mean, and I, coughing just, yeah, it is, there's, I, I mean, it's a really hard choice, but it, I would have to pick being itchy constantly. But what do you guys think? What would you guys choose in these would you rathers? What decisions would you guys make? What, you know, what were your answers to those questions? What's the, what's the best would you rather that you can come up with? Maybe, maybe come up with a would you rather and, and, and tell it to your neighbor, tell, tell it to your siblings or to your parents. Have, have some fun trying to figure out the decisions you would make uh, if you were to come up with your own would you rather. Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to think about what's that, what's that would you rather. Or go ask your sibling or your neighbor around it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into a time of worship. We, in, in just a minute, I'm gonna check back with you guys and we wanna talk about those decisions. The decisions that we get to make and the, and, the, and the decisions that we can make with God. But before we get into that, I want us to get on our feet, I want us to have some fun worshiping together, come up with good would you rather, and I'll check back with you guys in just a second. Travel. 
in front of me So high that I can't see you I don't have to be afraid When your voice is calling me To deep seas I've never traveled I don't have to be afraid I know your promises are true Promises are true I believe you Give me faith in everything I do You light my way Come on, let's go on a journey Sailing the ocean of God's great love Come on, let's go on a journey Lord with all my heart and he'll direct my path. Come on, let's go on a journey of God's great love. Of God's great love. This is who he says he is. I can trust his promises. His great light will guide my way, blessing me with every day. His love covers my mistakes, sets the path that I should take. Jesus, King of everything, I put my faith in Him. Come on, let's go on a journey, sailing the ocean of God's great Of the Bible, Peter walks on water. This is Peter. Hey, oh! Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus. Wow! And he heard all his teachings. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya! Hey, Jesus! After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen and they were fighting heavy waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat. Whoa, you're awesome. And walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, ah, whoa! he was terrified and began to sink. Peter, help me. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshiped him and said, you really are the son of God.
hey guys, maybe you guys came up with some good would you rathers. I want to hear about them later on. But I want to talk to you guys about that video we just got to see, that story of Peter. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard about Peter getting to walk on water. I mean, what, a, what an incredible thing. Can you imagine what that would take a second to think about? How cool that would be. And, and a lot of times we can kind of fix on that of just getting to walk on water. But, I, but I, what I want you guys to see, there's a, they, what we, you know, we're talking about decisions. And I want, to, I want to peel this story back a little bit and look at these decisions. You know, one of the first things that happens in this story, uh, if, if you guys caught it, was Jesus tells his disciples to go out to, uh, on the boat, to go out ahead of him. And if you remember, he goes up and he starts praying for him. And they had a decision of whether they were going to get on that boat and go. And here's an interesting thing you may not have noticed. Jesus sent them into a storm. Jesus is God. He knows everything. He knew there was a storm there. And Jesus intentionally sent them into something that can be scary. And they had a decision of whether or not to go. And I wonder, guys, have you ever been invited to do something that seemed really, really scary? Have you ever been sent to go do something that you were scared to do? If you've been hanging out with us for the past few weeks, you might remember a few weeks back, Katie came and she invited me to go skiing with her. And I'd never skied before and we did some, yeah, some goofy ski training to kind of get ready for it and I had to kind of dial back you know, what I thought I could do. But we went skiing, guys, and I'll tell you what, I was really scared. I mean, we got, if you've ever been skiing before, you might know what I'm, what I'm talking about. We got on the chairlift, I'm feeling like, this is gonna be fun, I'm training, I know what's going on, and we start going up and up and up. And we've ridden the chair for like 10 minutes and we're not off of it yet. And I'm going, uh, this is way higher than I thought it was gonna be. This is way steeper. I'm looking at the, you know, these big bumps and rocks and, you know, and, and Katie the whole time, she's like, no, no, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna have a good time. But as we got closer and closer, as we got to the top of the mountain, guys, I was so scared. Katie had sent me into something that I was terrified of doing. Have you guys ever had something like that happen before? You ever had a friend, someone you love, someone you trust, send you into something terrifying? Like Jesus sent his friends into a storm that was terrifying. But then, like what happened there, once we started skiing, I, I leaned on Katie, I trusted her. She showed me how to do it, it was fun. If any of you guys have been skiing, you guys should go skiing if you haven't been skiing. We started skiing and it was awesome. You know, I started to get a feel for the turns and the snow was fun. And it was an amazing thing. If any of you, I mean, get the, the, the rush of skiing, being outside, be going fast, it was awesome. Just like walking on water would be so cool. Can you imagine that? Step out, boom, I can keep walking. It was, oh, I, felt, I felt like Peter on water as I skied down this hill, but then, just like in that story, you know, how, you know how Peter started to all of a sudden get nervous? He saw those waves, he heard that wind, he felt the rain in his face, and he started to get scared. Guys, just like that, I'm on the skis, we're start, I'm getting my turns, I'm feeling good, and all of a sudden I start picking up a little bit more speed. And all of a sudden, now I can't see Katie anymore because I'm looking at this next hill coming up and it's really, really steep. And I now I'm trying to remember, how do I, how, do I pizza, do I, do I french fry? I don't know anymore. And I'm starting to pick up speed. Then my skis, then my skis uh, uh, cross together. I start getting the wobbles. You ever had those wobbles? I'm going, uh, the arms go out and then, you can probably guess what happened next. I yard sailed, wiped out, cartwheeled all the way down. I mean, I must have been the last, I was probably on a million different Instagram accounts of just the, you know, that guy who wiped out all the place. My skis are 20 miles away from me. I, it was a mess. It was okay, you know, I got up or whatever, and, and Katie helped me to, to get my skis back on and make it down the mountain. But man, I got so nervous, I got so caught up that I wiped out just like Peter, got so nervous, got so scared of what might happen that he wiped out. Have you guys ever been in a spot where, you st where someone invited you to do something scary, but then you started doing it and it was actually it was really, really fun. But then maybe you started getting, getting nervous of what if I'm not good at it? What if I can't do it again that way? What if, I, what if I try to do this again and it's not as good? What if people don't like me? What if I look silly? You guys ever felt like that? And then, you ever wiped out because of it? I think it happens to us all the time in life. And what I want you to see, what I hope you guys grab from this story, is Jesus was with Peter the whole time. 
when, when, when Peter fixed his eyes on Jesus, he had an awesome experience. He got, to, he got to walk on water. Like when I fixed my eyes on Katie, I got to ski. But man, we can get so easily distracted by things that aren't God, that make us wipe out. And guys, I wanna encourage you. I bet every single one of you is invited into something that feels scary. And what I want you to do is I want you to bring God, call out for God. Hey, God, I need you in this. Because when we bring God into our decisions, man, we get to do some amazing stuff. We might fall down, we might sink in the water, and he's gonna help us up just like he helped Peter up. But man, in the midst of that, we're gonna get to do some extraordinary things, and I hope you guys will try that this week as you make the decisions that you're making. Oh, oops, sorry. Hey, one last thing I wanted to tell you guys. I was thinking about that story, and you know what, you, there's one other point I wanna challenge you guys with. You know, we, we focus on the fact that, that Peter stepped out, he walked on the water, and then he sank. And a lot of times, you know, we're like, oh, Peter, he should have believed more or whatever. But guys, man, how cool is it that he stepped out of the boat, that he took a risk? And here's one more point I want you guys to hold on to. When Peter stepped out of the boat and started walking and he got distracted, yeah, he, he, he ended up sinking, he ended up wiping out. But what would have happened if his friends on the boat had been cheering him on? What if his friends had been there going, no, Peter, you got it. Don't fall, don't get distracted. The waves aren't the big deal. Focus on Jesus, you're doing it. Go, go, go. What if they cheered him on? You guys notice they didn't do that. Those guys just sat back like, oh my gosh, he's walking on water and we're scared. They didn't do anything. But man, if you guys ever had your friends cheering you on, shouting for you, encouraging you, when you have that, oh man, it helps us not lose our focus. It helps us stay in, stay in what we're trying to do. It, it, it encourages us. And so guys, I got one more challenge for you guys. Maybe you're somebody that's stepping out of the boat. Maybe you're trying to figure it out and that's awesome. But maybe you know somebody that in some way is making a decision, and in some way is stepping into something scary, in some way is doing something they're not sure they're good at. And guys, what would it look like for us to encourage them, to shout from the sidelines, you got this, keep it up. What does it look like you to find them and say, hey, I know you're working on this and you're doing a really good job, keep it up. What might that story been like if Peter's friends in the boat had been cheering him on, maybe it would have been a totally different thing because he had a community that was believing in him. And that's what I want. One more challenge for you guys is, I want you to think of somebody this week, maybe it's in your family, maybe it's your friends, maybe it's just somebody you know, and I want you to think of how you can cheer them on, shout for them, encourage them, push them on. Because when you do, you're gonna help them continue to do extraordinary things. And in the midst of that, they might in turn be able to be a community for you, encouraging the ways you are stepping forward too. Guys, it is so fun getting to hang out with you guys. We got one more worship song. Let's encourage each other in this. Let's all get up, let's dance, let's have a great time together. And then we got some discussion questions after this. And I can't wait to hang out with you guys next week, right here to Send Kids. We'll see you guys soon. soul and mind this is the first and greatest commandment a second is equally important love your neighbor as yourself the entire law is based on Let's go.
Father, Son, and Spirit Teach these new disciples to obey All the commands that I have made Be sure of this, I am When was the time you were really scared? Why? When you get scared, what do you do? Do you call for help? And if so, who do you call? Have you ever had somebody make something that was scary really, really fun? Where's an area in your life that God is calling you to step out of your boat and try something new? Who is someone that you can encourage to keep going this week? 